Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Ana Cole, and I'm back at it again with another video. Y'all already know what this video is about to be. It's about to be the 2017 Billboard Music Awards, okay? That happened um, last night in Las Vegas, okay? <laughs> I've got my notebook, okay? And we're gonna get right into this video, okay? I wanna start off with some of my, you know, favorite dress, best dress celebrities on off the red carpet, if you will. Um, I want to give a shout out to Camilla from Fifth Harmony. Girl, baby, the way you were slaying in that little orangish red number, honey, it was all slinky and flowy. And then you have that dramatic shawl of a jacket, girl, to match the dress. Girl, I got my life. I love that dress. You look so, so, so amazing. I loved it. DJ Khaled, shout out to you. I love DJ Khaled because he just brings so much positivity and good vibes and energy. And I just love the way he was dressed at the red carpet. Like he was just chill. He wasn't trying to do extra much. And it just, everything just flowed. And he was bringing it for the juicy men out there. Okay? Okay. Uh, Madison Beer, girl, baby. That little black number that you had on, on the, um, okay, it's the pink carpet, but the little black number that you had on, the beating, honey, you were giving me, you know, vintage, old Hollywood, and I, I was living for every moment of it. I love that dress. Sam Hunt. He's, he's just so adorable. He's so cute. He's married, you know. He's just so cute, and just the way he was dressed in his tuxedo, he had a bow tie, he was just... Cute. I loved it. I, we like a, a good um, a man that likes to clean up. Don't we ladies? Okay, yeah. He was cute. Vanessa Hudgens, honey. Okay, I have two for Vanessa Hudgens. Her her red carpet look. It was a blush pink gown. It has cut out and it split, honey. And it had these big, huge bows on it. It was really dramatic and cute. I like dramatic here and there. It was really cute. And she did um, an outfit change once the show started. It was like this black tool number. It was short. It was nice and puffy and it had a deep V. And I was like, okay, you better work that dress. I like that dress also. Ludacris, his, um, his red carpet look was simple, but you can't go wrong with simple and chic, okay? You cannot go wrong with simple and chic. Shout out to Ludacris, okay? Shout out to you. Sarah Foster, honey, your dress was amazing. It slayed. I loved it. Shout out to her. And Nicole. Bad, 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 bad. Nicole. Y'all, I'm not, not going to chop up her name, but y'all know who she is. Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls. Okay, she got this beautiful peach bohemian vibe gown and her accessories were gold and she looked like her skin was just kissed by the sun, honey. She was she was, she was glowing. Like, I, I just loved her look from head to toe, okay? You did that, Nicole. Shout out to Nicole. So let's get in to the show and some of my favorite performances. Y'all know I love me some Ed Sheeran, okay? Even though he wasn't there, you know, they um, Skyped him in, live stream, whatever you want to call it. And from Chile, okay, he was out there just playing his guitar, beating on his guitar and singing his little heart out. I love Ed Sheeran. He was one of my favorite performances. Uh, I liked Julia Michaels because her performance to me, even though it was at the Billboard and Music Awards and everybody's in, you know, the T-Mobile dome and it's like so many people, she still made it like small and intimate and she had live instruments. I love live instruments, okay? I used to be in the band class and I used to play the clarinet, okay? So I love live instruments, okay? So she did that. She was singing live, okay? So she did that. Shout out to Julia Michaels. Um, baby, baby, baby. y'all, okay, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, okay, when I was watching the Billboard Awards, you know, I was, I was really kind of asleep, you know, it was, it was a little bit of a snooze fest for me, you know, I don't know what's going on, why, you know, award shows, they're not really, you know, extra popping like that no more, but I was kind of snoozing, and besides, you know, the favorite people that I liked here and there, I was snoozing, but baby, when the Queen Diva Celine Dion came on, okay, <laughs> and she performed, I got my life. I mean, I was getting every bit of my life when Celine was performing, okay? Y'all don't understand, baby, when Celine, tell me who performs under and in 
a life-size chandelier. Nobody but a diva, baby. Nobody but a diva, okay? Shout out to Celine Dion, because she had me. That had woke, She woke me up, okay? She woke me all the way up with her performance, okay? And then, of course, y'all know I love me some Drake, you know? His performance was cute, you know? He was on a little platform in the water. He had the fireworks popping off, and all the little water was dancing in the background. He was dancing around. I was like, okay, Drake. I see you you're thinking outside the box. Okay, this is cute, you know. Okay, you waking me up a little bit more. Okay, thank you, Drake, you know. Then, baby, y'all understand, okay. When Miss, Miss Diva herself, okay, share, honey, when she came out and did her songs, baby, okay, I was up. I was getting my life. I was dancing. I was having a great time. For someone to be... 71 years old, honey, catch catch this, 71 years old, and she slay all of the other artists that came before her that are like in their 20s and younger and 30s, y'all need to take a, a, a note from Cher and from Celine, and you know, they'll show y'all how to really perform and put on a show, okay? Because both of them, baby, I was wide awake and alert and getting my life. Take notes, y'all. Um, let me see. Oh. Y'all don't understand. Y'all know I love, I love Bruno Mars. You know, I was sad that he wasn't there at the show, but they live streamed him, Skyped him in too, you know, and he did Versace on the floor. It's one of my songs and he was just dancing and he was just having real fun. Like, I love Bruno Mars. He's, he, he's another person that has great vibes. Like, I just love him. But those are some of my performances that I like. I will not get in to, um, the performances that I didn't like and that I felt like I was snoozing through because, you know, it's 2017 and I'm, you know, taking a different approach. Um, my mom always said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I won't say anything at all about those performances, but if I didn't name them here, <laughs> go back and watch the billboards and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, moving along. Uh, did y'all see? I wish, you know who I wish who who had a um, performed and that probably would have gave us some life was Rihanna. You know, she probably would have came up in there. She probably would have winded it up and just getting it and gave us that vibe. Like, you know, Rihanna should have performed. I don't know why she didn't perform, but anywho. But as always, y'all, follow your girl on all social media. I mean, all social media. Okay, I got more than one account. Follow your girl and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to follow me on YouTube, honey. I will be posting more videos. I promise I will be posting more videos, okay? And make sure you tell friends, to tell their mama, to tell their cousin, to tell the milkman, to tell the mailman, the, uh, the lady on the street, the, all the people that work at Target and at the supermarket. Tell everybody to come follow your girl, okay? If you talk to me, I'll talk back. I'm nice. I don't bite, okay? Till next time, peace.